All right, you guys, so today I'm going to detangle with coconut oil. I figured that I would give it a try and share with you guys how it works on my hair type. Today's actually a wash day, so I am applying the coconut oil as a pre-poo and I'm using it to detangle my hair. All right, so let's get into it. So I'm sectioning off my hair. So I've used coconut oil in the past. I usually mix it in with my hot oil blends and sometimes I'll just apply it to my flyaways in between wash days when I have my hair up in a bun. Coconut oil has many benefits. It can help repair protein loss. It can help with breakage. It can help with shine and moisture. And most importantly, it can help detangle your hair before you wash it. I've been reading and watching other YouTubers to talk about, and I never really considered this until recently, but actually detangling my hair before I shampoo it, just to minimize breakage as much as possible. I feel like it's been lacking a little bit of shine and moisture, and as I mentioned, I'm using it as a pre-poo, and I'm using it to detangle my hair, so it's kind of like a twofer which means two for one. I just put some in a cup, about maybe three to four tablespoons worth, put some hot water over a bowl and allowed it to melt until it became a oil-like consistency. So I'm just doing like this half first of my hair so that it's not all crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna section off my hair once again, just because I feel like this stuff needs to be used in smaller sections. So I'm just applying a little bit on my hand and it is like an oil at this point. And I'm just making sure that I coat my hands before I apply it to my hair. Now, sometimes I find that misting my hair with a little bit of water really helps to create a little bit of slip when I'm applying my coconut oil. So just grabbing a spray bottle and just giving my hair a little bit of, so that's it. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit here to the back and then just move this hair to the back so I can continue to saturate the rest of my hair. The coconut oil is great for the hair, particularly because it's high in lauric acid. It's a kind of fatty acid that your hair can easily and quickly absorb. And it helps to provide moisture and nourishment and tame frizz so you can maintain a glossy and healthy texture. Research shows that coconut oil has antibacterial properties, anti-inflammatory and antioxidative effects that help repair the skin barrier that can also help fight dandruff. It's also used to stimulate hair growth. Coconut oil is a natural way to help your hair grow longer, thicker, and faster. As I mentioned before, because of its vitamins and essential fatty acids naturally found in coconut oil, it helps to really nourish the scalp and remove any sebum buildup from hair follicles. When you're looking for coconut oils, a rule of thumb is to always opt for extra virgin coconut oil because refined or processed coconut oil can often be bleached and is usually chemically processed. So when in doubt, find the purest available to you. Other ways to incorporate coconut oil into your hair care routine is by adding it to oil blends, hair masks, and conditioners. Okay guys, so I finally was able to coat all of my hair with the coconut oil. So my hair had been up for about a week and it has product in it. My hair is dirty, so it was a little bit of a struggle to finger detangle my hair, but we managed to get through it. And this is how much hair I shed. It's actually surprisingly pretty good for my hair. I have so much hair. Here's a third way you can use coconut oil before you wash your hair. So what I'm gonna actually do is pin up all of my twists. I'm gonna put them all up and I'm gonna use it as a hot oil treatment. I'm just gonna leave it in my hair for about 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go wash my hair, come back and show you guys what my hair looks like post wash. So now that I have my hair pinned up, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a cap like so. And I'm gonna use my heated cap to give my head a little bit of heat before I jump in the shower and shampoo this off. So I put this in the microwave for about 40 seconds, 40 to 45 seconds. It heats up. This is probably one of my favorite things and I use this when I deep condition my hair. I usually put on the deep conditioner and just chill for about like 20 to 30 minutes. And it does an incredible job of letting the deep conditioner penetrate into my hair shaft, really saturating all of my hair with the deep conditioner. So there you have it. So those are three ways you can use the coconut oil as a pre-poo, as a detangler, and as a hot oil treatment. Now the pre-poo and the detangler kind of go hand in hand, but a pre-poo is basically preparing your hair to shampoo it. <laughs> Hence pre-poo. And adding in some moisture before you shampoo. From my understanding, it allows the hair to retain some of the moisture so that when you shampoo your hair, it doesn't strip your hair of all your moisture and your oil. Does it work? Is it true? I don't know. But we're giving it a try anyway, and I'll let you guys know the final results. All right, see you in a bit.
All right, you guys, so I just got out of the shower. I'm going to, if I can get this off my hair. <laughs> All right, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna go ahead and style my hair and then show you guys the final results. It did take me a little bit to shampoo the coconut oil out of my hair. I know for me, I don't usually use coconut oil often, but every once in a while, I do like to use it to detangle and also use it as a hot oil treatment. I do blend it with other oils and other things um, on a regular basis, but using it all on its own is a little bit more challenging for me. I will say, I think that it does do good for my hair to use it every once in a while. I think that it does strengthen and fortify my hair. What's your thoughts on coconut oil? How do you guys use coconut oil? How does it leave your hair? Do you find it useful? Does it help you detangle your hair? Do you feel like your hair feels stronger or more fortified or defined after you use coconut oil? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. All right, so I'll be right back with the final results. All right, you guys, so these are my final results. I would say that there's some shine and some moisture added in here today. I also styled using products that did not give my hair extreme hold just because I wanted to kind of see how my hair dries and I will definitely try it again I think that if you're again if you're protein sensitive I would maybe do a little bit more research on using coconut oil for your hair for me I found that it did leave my hair a little bit hard to manage while I was in the shower but I did follow it with a deep conditioner to add some additional moisture and softness to my hair just because today was a wash day and I felt like why not go for it my hair is probably about 90% dry but because I'm running out of time I wanted to come on here and just show you guys something and let you guys see what my hair looks like at about 90% dry and yeah that's what I have for you guys today so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you know the next time that I post a video like this and I will see you guys in the new year as always be well Bye.